We are continuing an incredible conversation with Dr. Mark Hitchcock, who has the book that we're offering this month. It is hot and really applicable. The topic, you couldn't get better on this, blood moons rising. Mark, welcome back. It's good to have you. Thank you. Uh, the conversation, let's define what in the world is a blood moon, and then it's in the plural, blood moon. So what's that all about? Well, a blood moon is just a total lunar eclipse. What happens when there's a lunar eclipse, of course, the earth gets between, between the sun and the moon and, and shadows the moon, so it's eclipsed, and, but it turns reddish in color, kind of orangish or reddish, so it's called the blood moon. But I think a lot of this is interesting. Just That, that title just kind of has a mysterious uh, sound to it, you know, a blood moon. But, but I think even at NASA, a, they use that. They do. Uh, in, 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 they scientists do. use yeah, the phrase. It's, it's, it's a lunar eclipse when the moon turns to this blood, this blood red color, and there, there are four of these blood moons happening in 2014 and 15. Really? And they fall on Jewish feast days, on Passover and the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles. So that's called a tetrad when you have these four blood moons falling on these Jewish feast days. So that's what a lot of the interest that's being stirred in this uh, concerns. There's these blood moons. Uh, the Bible mentions the moon turning to blood. There's these four Jewish feast days. So that, that's where really a lot of the interest is coming from this. This is a hot topic. John Hagee has mm -hmm. uh, done, a, done a great job bringing mm -hmm. this uh, uh, phrase blood moons uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to the forefront. There are some other authors. Who, who kind of bubbled up the idea in contemporary history of, of these blood moons as we see them today? There's a man named Mark Biltz. He's from Tacoma, Washington from that area. He did a lot of teaching on this. John Hagee heard him and picked that up and wrote a book on that. And, and now Mark Biltz has also written a book on that. And so my book is a book that examines what, they, what they're saying. Uh, what John Hagee and Mark Biltz have said. And I take a little bit different view than they yeah. do. I like to analyze and look at the things they're saying. I appreciate those men and what they do for the Lord, but I take a little bit of a different view. I don't see the, the significance of the blood moons or don't want to really use those to set a specific date for something happening like they do. Uh, but I think it's a very, but, but I think it's an intriguing event that these things are taking place. When people read this book, what do you hope they're going to come away with? Well, I want them to understand kind of the overview of Bible prophecy. I start out in the book with that. Just understand what the Bible says is going to happen in the future. I think that's a very, very important. That the Bible does speak to the future, clearly. Yes, and there are signs. So I'm not saying that there aren't signs of the times. I do believe there are signs. And, sure. And we talk about those in the book. But I also want people to come away understanding this blood moons phenomenon. Maybe they've read uh, a book by John Hagee or Mark Biltz or heard something about this. I want them to read the book I've written. And I think it gives a little bit of uh, the analysis from a biblical, historical perspective that's not in the other books. Well, we do hope that you will call us today or write us and that you will get a copy of Mark's book, Blood Moons Rising. We're going deeper every single day walking through this book, asking lots of questions and getting some incredible answers from a biblical worldview. With your most generous gift that you can provide for us at 100 Holly Street and Crossroads, we would be delighted to send this to you right away.